Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to do some modifications or some upgrades to my Glock Model 21 that I've had for a long time and I've been wanting to do these upgrades for quite some time now and I finally gathered all the parts and here we go. We're going to work on the slide first and then we'll do the receiver. First, let's make sure the gun is clear. Remove the magazine, put it aside. Gun is empty. Let's take it apart. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the, um, the standard stock captured spring from Glock and the barrel. We're not gonna be using that anymore. We're going to work on the slide first. Now, what I do here is, I don't know if you guys can see this up close. This is the striker. You push it forward and you push this out. I'm glad you guys could see that up close. I just pull the, the striker back. Be careful you don't use that because we're going to be using it again. gas spring and now to remove the safety plunger let me show you guys here you have to press this safety plunger down and remove the side this is the the part that holds the uh, safety uh, plunger in place so let's remove this I did do some work on the safety plunger and it helped a little, but not much. See how rounded it is? Now the three pound dish connector in this gun did help quite a bit. So now we're gonna go with a titanium safety plunger. And just do the same exact. Operation. Let me see if I can get it close up for you guys. Push it in. And release. How about that, guys? I had a phone call there unexpected phone call now that's in place you guys can see that is in place so we're going to go ahead and install our striker back in and we're going to put I know you guys brag about this Punisher, but this is the, the only one I can find at the time So here what you want to do you want to get a bigger size puncher Push down and start sliding the back in Oops that is backwards I'm having a hard time working with his gloves. I'm about to take them off Let's see what happened. I see what happened there. Get a thinner one. And that is now in. So that part of the slide is in. The other thing you want to do once you put the uh, safety plunger and everything together. You want to push it down and bring the striker forward. You want, you want it to be in the forward position when you put the gun together at the end of the video. 
So our next step is going to be our 6 inch KKM barrel. The KKM barrel is a very match competition barrel. It has button rifling. Let's wait for the helicopter to go by. Sorry, guys. Anyways, that button rifling. So let's insert this. Then we're going to take our comp muscle brake or compensator. And we're going to screw it to the barrel. Now I purchased a compensator from Lone Wolf. There's no need to put Loctite on this. You just gotta make sure it's nice and straight. That's what we're gonna make sure of right now. I need to turn it out one more turn, guys. That's much better. It comes with uh, Loctite from factory, so you don't need to put any additional Loctite on this. There you have it. Now we are going to install our stainless steel captured spring and the slide is ready to go. Just like that. You have a beautiful gun. Well, let's get started on the receiver. We'll take out the, um, first thing you wanna do is take out the pins. You're gonna have three pins. This one here it's usually the most difficult one, but it came out with these. So now you want to take the block out, the extended magazine release, and the trigger group. Now on this, what you have to do is you have to go up and out. And then you see the little spring here. You got to make sure when you put it back, it goes right back in the same position. And there it is. Out with the old and in with the new. This is also a ghost trigger group, stainless steel. And it makes for an excellent see, because usually putting it back in is not as easy. Oh, by the way, there's the uh, three pound uh, ghost disconnect this section here is always more difficult to put back in but I'll get it usually what I do is pull this out some the three pound disconnector
and there you go it's in it could get difficult sometimes but it, it's easy to work with a Glock so now we'll go ahead and put this in about that guys these gloves don't let me work too well there we go there we go that's part of it let's continue we're also going to change um, the disassembly uh, apparatus that goes here to a bit longer than this one and stainless steel. What you want to do here is you want to push down. I'd rather use a puncher so I don't damage anything. You want to push down on the spring. And just let it go. Come in with a new one. Same way. It's that easy. Except, guys, I put it on backwards. <laughs> no big deal. There we go. Just so much better. A little longer is so much better. Plus it's stainless steel and it gives a nice look to the gun. Then you want to put this in position before you slide in the block. Then you come in with the block, push down, it's set. Now let's go ahead and put the pins. Now I'm gonna do away with these pins cause I do have stainless steel ones. Okay, here where the spring is for the slide release, you want to kind of bring it under, and there you go. Always try to put them even on both sides. That's pretty even right there. Well, let's go with the large one which is sometimes a real pain in the butt. Here we got that pin in. Now make sure, like I said, they're both on the same block. I have to take the small one out. Now for this one, again, remember you have to take a puncher and push the spring down so you can go underneath the spring yeah but now let's put the one in the back make sure everything is clear back here here we go
that is looking pretty good. You see, I, I know it's not, the gun is not put together, but there's no play on that. Now, next thing we're going to do is install the Carver Magwell. As you guys know, all you have to do is press this little pin right here and push out. And there it is. That is out. You can save that. Make sure you save all your parts. Next thing, it's going to be this part. That replaces the um, the aesthetic. If it's an aesthetic clock, don't even come with this. You have to buy that separately. By the way, this is a uh, Gen 3 Model 21. Now, I'm doing this without following instructions, but I believe this goes there first. And I believe I'm right. Yep, yeah, so let's get that in there. Let's get one of these guys over here. Wrong size. That is one beautiful Glock receiver. Next thing we're going to work on is the extended magazine release. So let's work on the extended magazine release, see if I can get that at one. I don't know if you guys can see that in there, but I am going to disconnect the, um, the pin that holds the magazine release so we can put in the new one. And just like that, that is out. Let's go ahead and put in the new one. The new one is also unextended. Stainless steel magazine release, but very Now we are going to install the extended magazine release. You gotta see, you gotta start here. Push it all the way across. Be careful the pin doesn't get in the way. You have to push it out of the way. Once it's in place, push it all the way across. And there you have it. That is a really nice extended magazine release. 
and it works quite well. So I guess now all that's left is to put the gun together and see what it looks like. Guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. You want to see more upcoming videos, subscribe. And wait for it. This is one beautiful Glock. By the way, all the painting on the letters I did myself. And I can uh, show you guys in another video how I did that. Beautiful trigger. No slack whatsoever. Crisp. Very nice trigger. Guys, let me know in the comments below uh, what you think. I'll, I'll put everything in the description below of everything I purchased and did to this gun. Till next time, hope you have a guy you guys have a great one. There you are, let's collect the mess to the side and look at it really good without any of this mess that I, that I made here. This is now a fully custom, besides the slide, fully custom Glock Model 21. Capable of putting them on the target at a pretty good distance. 21 yards maybe. The other, that, the other thing I forgot to mention, uh, the sights, our, our night sights that I installed a while back. I believe they're Chip McCormick. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.